Drones aren't just for scouting anymore. Sprayer drones are becoming serious application tools on the farm and some new U.S. built models are turning heads. Chad Colby has the story. If you were at fall farm shows this year, you probably noticed all the continued attention around sprayer drones. And after working with drones in agriculture for about 15 years, it's exciting to finally see farmers stopping, watching demos, and asking a lot of great questions. For years, drones were mainly used for just mapping and scouting. Valuable tools, but today sprayer drones are becoming real application machines on the farm. And this technology isn't new everywhere. In Japan, spray drones have been used for more than 30 years. The Yamaha R-Max has been commercially operating there since 1991, spraying rice long before most of us thought about farm drones at all. So this technology is proven, and now that momentum is here in the U.S. Another big change, we are finally starting to see American-built spray drones, a company called Revolution Drones launched at Husker Harvest Days. And this week, I had one of their new systems at my house. I can tell you this, it's very impressive. And the part I like the most, it'll be built in North Carolina. The batteries, controller, tank, frame, all made right here in the United States. Now, if you're considering a spray drone for 2026, you'll need to start very soon. To operate commercially, you'll need an FAA remote pilot certificate, part 137 approval, and your state applicator license. And I should mention, you'll also need an exemption from the FAA because you're gonna operate a drone over 55 pounds. And all of that is a process and it takes time, so you're not gonna wanna wait. These new systems are getting a lot bigger and more capable. One of Revolution Drone's new systems has a 32-gallon tank and can spray over 1,500 acres a day. And myself, I love all the new technology that's in these drones. And it's a lot of technology many of you have never seen before. Now, drones aren't going to replace airplanes or ground rigs, that's for sure. We need all those tools. But sprayer drones are quickly becoming a serious option for a lot of farms. And this technology is moving so fast I'll share more updates and a closer look at these systems in weeks ahead. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.